Kathy Kress again with my Geriatric Care uh, One channel, and I'm back doing long distance care provider. Uh, and we are talking about you know what you, the geriatric care manager, can do for a long distance care provider. And um, one of the things that we just talked about in another episode was communication because it's so important. And I said that lots of times you would have to have a family meeting between the primary hands-on care provider and the long-distance care provider. Mm -hmm. But there are many other cases where you have to do that. Uh, and a family meeting is something that you really can help a long-distance care provider with because usually it's not one child uh, in the family. There are multiple children and there's one person who's taking over everything and feels really burdened. That's why you're there. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can do conference calls. I think a, a lot of geriatric care managers do this. Uh, you can do Skype because you can have multiple people on Skype. There are lots of ways that you can have this happen. And uh, you can do video conferencing, as I said, and um, hold and you know basically do the agenda for the family meeting with the uh, primary long distance care provider, get feedback from the other people, um, get input, and then you can mediate on the family meeting uh, call, which probably you're going to have. Now people could all come in for that, but it's very rare that they're willing to do it because if they live next door, you wouldn't have a long distance care provider. Uh, and so what can you, you can do during a family meeting to help the long distance care provider uh, is take minutes and then record that you can record the meeting this isn't the NSA I mean you can record the meeting and um, send the CD to the long distance care provider and the rest of the family because then they can hear just what they said and what they agreed to and that's what you want to do at the end of the meeting you want to get an agreement well I will do this I will do a family newsletter to support you I will take mom to the doctor I will have all the house repairs done and that'll take some of the burden off of the hands-on care provider. Or you're the long-distance care provider and you're flying in and you're just exhausted. And so other long-distance care providers will say in the family meeting, because you said to talk about that, that they will fly in as well. And that mm -hmm. takes a lot of stress off the long-distance care provider. So a lot can be done through a family meeting. Uh, you can help with relocation. The long-distance care provider may want to move and I was using the example of Minnesota that's in a polar vortex. Uh, maybe the long distance care provider who lives in Atlantic City just gets really tired of the, you know, the pipes freezing in the house in Minnesota and uh, the heater going off. <laughs> and they finally decide they're going to move mom to Atlantic City where they live. Uh, so you can help with relocation. And what you can do is just look at the chapter in the last edition, the third edition of Handbook of Geriatric Care Management, and there's a whole chapter on what you do. And it's, a real, it's got a lot of moving parts. But you can assess whether, really, I mean, the pipes might be breaking, but this woman who lives in Minnesota might have really a giant friendship circle mm -hmm. that she's known for 70 years and doesn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to help the long-distance care provider figure out you know how, how to keep them there how how can you do that you can do that but if they do want to move what is the best thing do they want to be in what level of care should they be at could they live with a long distance care provider in Atlantic City that's not always not always the best idea but it can be done do they want to live in an, you know another place in Atlantic City but what level of care and what can the parent and the long distance care provider afford so um, you know, many times that's something you're going to help a long distance care provider with. I will see you next time and go to my website, kathycrest.com, and we will continue with the long distance care provider.